So this particular build that we're doing, um, it's called a mini ITX build. Uh, basically it's the smallest standard uh, that computers make today. It's really ideal for like a gaming computer or something. Um, now you can move it around and take it to your friend's house or um, put it by the TV, whatever. It's portable, I think you get the idea. And unless you want to drop like three grand on a Mac Pro, there's really nothing that's you know powerful in this size in that category. All right, cool. So we'll start with the motherboard. Um, I always like to start here. Uh, part of it's just habit. Um, built enough of these, um, but also because really you know this is where everything plugs in. So uh, it's kind of the foundation. I think it's a good place to start. Um, so um, comes with a manual, uh, CD. These are basically paperweights nowadays. You can find all the drivers online and. Like, this computer won't even have a disk drive. Uh, the manual, sometimes there's a few useful things, so you want to hang on to that. This guy, it uh, plugs into whatever case you get. Because the case makers, they don't know which inputs your motherboard will have. So, there's just a standardized rectangle cutout, and then this guy that is custom to the motherboard fits in there. Um, these things are usually cheap, kind of, they just kind of pop in. Um, I'd like to see if Motherboard ever, I don't know, made one of these a little fancier. Then we have some of the just little add-ons that might come with it. In this case, all of these things pertain to the Wi-Fi chip that comes with this Motherboard. Um, that's all of that. And then these are the SATA cables that will connect your hard drive or solid state drive, um, or could be a uh, DVD or Blu-ray drive. So um, all these go with the uh, Wi-Fi chip. This is the actual chip in a uh, anti-static container, which is good. Put that in here. Uh, don't need that. And then here is the actual motherboard, um, also in an anti-static container, which is important uh, whenever you're shipping electronics, you want to make sure it's wrapped in one of these guys. And I am working on an anti-static mat, um, although, to be honest, I haven't bothered to. Usually you'd wear a, uh, a wrist strap, you'd ground yourself to it. And to be honest, I haven't even bothered, but it hasn't hurt me yet. But it is, I mean, if you have a lot of dust or pets, things, I mean, you just got to be smart. You got to be careful about it, where you work and all that. So I do have a clean environment. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this on there. And then we really don't need this 